today is today is um, January the fourth, twenty sixteen, and we have a lot of twenty sixteen left, but we've already run out of four days of it. Um, some of the things from twenty fifteen are still the same. Um, to my subscribers. Um, to my subscribers, I have 60 subscribers. <clears throat> Some people have, seems like millions of subscribers, but I can invite all of my subscribers to a party. We can have a potluck and we can all come and eat and have fun. Um, any birthdays out there today? Let me see here. Listen, let me sing happy birthday to all my subscribers. Happy birthday. That's um, my happy birthday to my subscribers. Um, you can believe this. I appreciate all of you because there are some people who have, uh, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers, but... Um, But I have 60, and the 60 that I have, I value very much, very, very much. Uh, this video is about not any particular race. It's not about any particular size of woman or does she wear hair weave, because you know what? Believe me, I believe that even a man can have the Jezebel spirit. Even a female can have the Judas spirit. These biblical, uh, they can have the Ahab spirit. Ahab it was just a weak man. And being weak doesn't mean like, and being strong, excuse me, doesn't mean punching a lady in the face. This man punched this lady in the face. And, uh, he, uh, this bus driver punched this lady in the, in the, in the face who, who spit on him. But the problem was, is that he argued with her. All right, let's establish something. Trust me, she know she knew who she was dancing with the entire time. Those women who buy you Nikes and only Nikes and the, because they're not good shoes. And even if there are good shoes, I mean, I believe in like wearing a soft and a hard pair of shoes uh, interchangeably. Um, because your feet need structure, but it also needs to relax. Um, trust me, she knew who she was dan dancing with. The, the lady who gives you McDonald's, she's dancing with the devil. The lady who gave you a television, dancing with the devil. I used to look at television. Don't get me wrong. But once I had television taken away from me, and that's a whole nother story, my creativity increased.
she chose to see the good in everybody. There's a whole universe within us, within, within, when you go within. And this is me advising myself and my 60 subscribers who I love very much. Um, go inside and find the creativity that's the universe, the vastness that, that lies within you, within me. And that don't spend your time focusing on the foibles. Let's look up foibles. A minor weakness or eccentricity in someone's character. They have to tolerate each other's foibles. All right. You know, you can spend your time. I mean, I can spend my time going, look at that. Look at I can't believe he's got that drop of ketchup. Look at that ketchup on his sh He's got a drop of ketchup. Look at him. While I have chicken and spinach in my teeth. And the people who I'm complaining to can't see the speck in my brother's eye who I'm speaking of. But they can see the chicken and spinach in my mouth every time I open my mouth and close it. So if I close it, they won't see it anymore. Anyway... We can spend our time searching each other's foibles. I personally don't think she should change that about herself. Because she can't change it. Neither can a tiger change its spots. Or a tiger remove its stripes. Alright? Everybody's born with what? Unless... It's possible her energy could even bring out the best in the devil. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to go fast. My time is running out here. Yeah, we're going to talk about this a little bit. Viewer discretion is advised. Stop it right there. Did you see the chick spit on him? I never looked. I mean, I always assumed I knew what spit meant, but let me look it up. I don't... Uh, no, they're talking about the nouns. I'm talking about what spit is. Eject. Okay, let's look up uh, phlegm. Oh, I think they spell with a P. A thick, vicious substance secreted by the mucous membranes of the respiratory passages, especially when produced in excessive or abnormal quantities, when someone is suffering from a cold. One of the four bodily humors believed to be associated, associated with calm, solid, or apathetic temperament, uh, calmness or t of temperament, phlegm. All right, that's like choleric versus phlegmatic. Oh, that's a whole other story. It's in the um, caloric and 
um, and I'll look this up. Um, I don't, I don't have time. But anyway, this is when someone spits this out. Spit is the is the uh verb. This is the noun. All right, noun. See that right there. So she spit on him, but before that they were arguing. When you're dealing with a black woman, my subscribers, when you're dealing with another person, let this be your last resort. I was a cab driver, and I had more control over who came and went in my vehicle. But if someone did get in the vehicle that wasn't uh, kosher, I would get the keys, get my shit that I needed, calmly leave the fucking cab. I was not going to go back there. In the two years that I did it, I wasn't going to go back there and fight. And, uh... I wasn't going to go do that. I would have got off the bus before I did this. But I can understand his frustration. There are there are times in this world where being right doesn't mean shit. You can be right all day in the grave. And by all day, I mean eternity. All right. Do not... Being right sometimes doesn't mean, but be right, okay? Let it not mean anything. It means something in eternity. If you want to get the best results, <laughs> this was not it. Oh, that's the interview, huh? Uh, oh, uh, this is what I wanted? Uh, that's fine, I'm about to say it even more because she says, that's her, that's her, that's her, that's her face. Because I was so hysterical at the time. 25-year-old Shadia Lane of Cleveland says she was... You have to understand that the black women, when they're around white women or people of another ethnicity, when they're around someone who they consider important, they act like this. They act like that. They act like that. They act like that. No, not all the time. <laughs> Believe me, not all the time. But when they're deceiving, she's not ugly. She looks like one of my nieces. She looks like a girl who I might have wanted to, like, take to the prom or maybe fuck when I was in high school. I don't have any problems with the way she looks. But did you see her on the bus when she spat on the bus driver? And another thing, they're indestructible. You would have to kill one of them to stop them. He gave her the vicious uppercut, and she just like, you know what I mean? Do not ever get in a conflict with them. Pray. If you're encountered by one, leave the scene immediately. And ask the Lord for to cover you from whatever vindictiveness that they have at their disposal. ...on an RTA bus to go to work September 18th when... He didn't think I had any money to get on the bus and I was looking for it, trying to tell him I have money to get on the bus. Can you just let me find it, you know? And then from there, it just escalated to this. Captured on a cell phone. Boss 
driver that delivered the blow, 59-year-old artist Hughes of East Cleveland. It's amazing to see how a man would actually hit a woman that hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you serious? You could have, you know, pulled me off the bus. I, you can't even touch nobody, but for real, like, you re really punched me. No, but Sadia, you were on the receiving end of one of the most talked about uppercuts. What did that feel like? I was on mortar combat. It just hurt it. I was on mortar combat. I was on mortar combat. I'm going to wrap this up because I'm going to have to make another part to this video. Let's just. This is something that I always want to say. This is not an indictment, but it's just like, motherfucker, can you learn how to conjugate? Grammar. Give different forms as the very according to voice, mood, tense, number, and person. Can you just understand conjugation? It's very, it's very... Okay, let me just say this. I'm wanting to the store. 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 No. I'm going to the store or I went to the store. You can't went it. Went it? Trust me, she knew who she was dancing with the entire time. She chose to see the good in everybody. And by good in everybody, I mean not motherfucking me. All right? Subscribers. This is me. Happy New Year. They can't see the good in me. No, fuck, no. They would go buy that shirt from Walmart or from Michael Kors or motherfucking, you know, Tommy Hilfinger or Calvin Klein or motherfucking Guess or any fucking thing. They would never buy any of my designs. And that's fine, because when I get to where I am, when I get to the glory, I don't want to have to give you motherfucking credit, all right? I was at Bilo Restaurant, Bilo Grocery Store, and there was a very nice black lady there. But I always, and you know what? Not just any anybody, everybody. When you're spending money, fucking watch. Watch to see who's going to cheat you. But when they cheat you, don't punch them in the face. You know, I just caused the line to back up forever while she fucking fixed her mistake. Who she had to find a manager who I imagine was another black lady. That took forever to fucking get the fuck out there to change the fucking problem. And she came out there with her nice long hair weave. And then she challenged it. And then she filed it. It's wrong. I'm the motherfucking referee who's going to throw the flag on the play. I'm throwing the flag on the play. I'm throwing the flag. I'm not going to fucking hit anybody. I'm not going to punch anybody. But I'm flagging your ass. When you do some fucked up shit. Especially when you're a black woman. Because I know how you are.
like it was like a, a finishing, you know what I'm saying, type of hit. Now this all went down on the number five bus going up Chagrin. And according to the RTA, the bus driver has been with the company for 22 years. Meantime, the RTA has released a statement saying, Upon identifying the driver, he was immediately suspended and removed from duty. His behavior is absolutely unacceptable. RTA apologizes to our customers for this incident. But who is not apologizing? There's two people involved in this. What can you say about your role? Did you hit him? No, see, I, that's why I want to talk to my lawyer. I don't really... That's what I want to talk about. What the fuck did you do? How the fuck did you get this shit started? All right? How were you so calm when you talk to the Asian chick whose hair you buy? You buy all the fucking hair that she buy that she grows. She, you buy from her. So you can look like her as much as you can. You can act like you weren't acting, acting like this. Acting, acting. Oh, can you just be? Be who you are. And you were who you were. This is not who you are. That's not who you are. That's not you. You are what you were on that bus. And as always, I say, do not, don't believe anything that I say. Don't believe anything that comes out of my mouth. Do not believe me. Do your own research. And the bus driver that delivered the blow, 59-year-old artist Hughes of East Cleveland. It's amazing. Do fucking not believe me. Do not believe anybody else. Do not argue with the Jezebel spirit. Make your own videos. Paint your own, you know, just, just make your own shit. Stop looking at everybody else. Stop standing on the sidelines. But even if you do stand on the sidelines and look, and you don't want to make your own videos, do not be the person to be like, that this this has no idea what is going on. Contemplate what you will, but the fact that you will to contemplate is a rarity. Thank you, subscribers. The proud, the few, the strong. Peace and love. Happy 2016. Welcome to my world. Good night.